So here we are, just a little bit closer. Hopefully everything is sort of clear. The screen is very, very responsive. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, here we go into the settings. There's tons of applications here. The browser, the camera, all of the above. Everything looks uh, looks good. Let's check out. Uh, there's just tons of tons of things to explore. Let's see if there's any thing in N64. And it turns out there are tons of preloaded content uh, right here. Super Smash Bros. I'd like to see how that looks and sounds. So right now it's loading up and uh, can get this out of the way hmm. okay. understood right now it says that there's it's actually loading up the game and it's about 70 percent of the way to it so in about a few seconds the game should start up So it says that it's finished and it's launching the emulator here. The speakers are on the face of the device. So based on uh, what I've seen so far, it looks pretty good. And let's get into gameplay. D-pad is working great. Uh, the buttons, let's see. Okay, hit the wrong button there. Let's go into one player and see. The analogs, okay, analog is working here. And it seems to work very well. So far, yeah, so it looks pretty good so far. Uh, I'll see if I can get a game started. I remember how uh, keep going back. There you go. So far it looks really really good, um, no complaints at the moment. So that's pretty much that game and uh, runs really well. So uh, on to the other things, let's see if there's anything in gallery. Okay, it turns out there's quite a bit of things in the gallery. Uh, tons of screenshots uh, from old games. Uh, but everything looks really good. The uh, software is really responsive to everything uh, and it works very very well and it also has the uh, key mapper here for games that may not support uh, the gamepad itself where you can drag certain things uh, let's see hmm. yes you can drag certain icons corresponding to certain buttons on your device 
uh, to on-screen options. So everything looks really well. Uh, let's go into here. Let's see if we can go in there. Okay. This is a Dreamcast emulator. And we'll see what game is here. Alright, so it's asking me for the date. I will just try to ignore that and... Alright, I'll just move past that. Just for the sake of showing the game. And... Hopefully everything works. It says it's Royal Rumble. And uh, giving me <laughs> some interesting options about TV settings. Uh, I wouldn't imagine anyone who made the game would figure that would be in a handheld uh, device. But uh, I'll say that we're running 60 Hertz for the monitor. And here's the game, year 2000. THQ. and tons of supporters alrighty uh, so that. this is what the game is looking like Looks a bit jittery. I'm not sure if that's purposeful or not. Can't tell. But we'll get into the game and see what happens. Let's go into arcade. Whatever this is. I suppose this person and that person. Tons of stuff and let's see what happens so there it is so if you're a wrestling type of person this might be for you uh, d-pad is operating here and I'm losing horribly I think however this works Uh, but in terms of uh, the emulation, I mean, it looks really, really great. Would I play this game? Probably not. But if you were interested in this, I think it looks really great. Uh, considering that it's running on this uh, gamepad and not the actual system itself. So everything looks really, really good. Uh, colors are vibrant and everything like that. So, uh, yeah. Touchscreen still works and you can exit anytime you please. Uh, let's go really quickly. Let's see. Uh, don't think. I don't think there's anything there. And uh, GBA. Tons of preloaded content here. And let's see uh, how it runs Egg Collector. I think that started up right away. I'm not even sure if this is GBA. I have no idea. Well, those are uh, other games that come preloaded. And uh, you can always switch between apps. Uh, and you can enter the task manager here. And uh, let's go into the about the tablet. You can go and uh, let's go back. Here it is, it says right here, Android 4.4, and this is the model Q88S, uh, otherwise known as the Q88 Plus. And so, this is the device, it looks really good, uh, 
plays stuff really good, I'll have to put it to the ultimate test of certain games. And uh, always the test of time is the best test to see if it's truly a good device. But as it stands, it looks really good. And uh, definitely for the price, it's, it's definitely worth it. And uh, it turns out, you know, as technology goes, this product was actually cheaper than that product when I purchased it. So things are getting uh, a lot cheaper, which is always a plus for your wallet. So uh, this is the Q88 Plus, and this is just an unboxing and a light little overview of what it's like. Uh, if you have any questions about it or wondering something about it, uh, you can always message me or post a comment. I'll be sure to get to you as soon as I possibly can. And uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.